Hello and welcome. It is Sunday, June the 5th. Pentecost. The birth of the church. Praise God and glory be to his name. Here's your daily devotions from the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene. Starting with, and this will be the last of the half million mobilization prayer journal. We are reading from 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. The scripture insights for this verse is written by Mark Collins, who's a district superintendent for Canada Atlantic. The writer speaks of the confidence we have in approaching God, and he narrows this ideas of confidence down to what we may ask of God. Namely, we may ask anything according to His will. Often we bring the things from our will to God. We have our list, we have our hopes, and we have the ideas of what we think and what we can afford, and these we bring to God in prayer. The writer of 1 John suggests to us that the idea that discerning God's will before asking anything builds confidence in our prayer journey. 1 John 5.14 invites us to come to the Father and humbly ask, Father, what is on your prayer list for me to speak to you about today? This has an aroma of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane saying, Not my will, but yours be done. Today's prayer, Father, I acknowledge your sovereignty over my life. Help me to submit to your will. Let my heart be right before you, my mind filled with the words of your Spirit, and my spirit filled with your presence. May thy will be done. And now from Reflecting God, our verse today is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, and against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with your belt of truth buckled about your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Our article today, The Armor of God is Defense. Armor is tactical defense. No one armors up for offense. Armor is used to withstand. This is not to say that the armored up do not have an offensive plan, but the armor is for defense. Accordingly, we are told to take a stand against the devil's schemes. For some reason, we seem obsessed with offense. We want to slay the devil and fight the good fight. Here, however, we are called to withstand the devil's schemes. God's call for us is to guard ourselves by covering ourselves with truth, righteousness, 
peace and faith. The one offense we have is the Word of God. According to John 1, Jesus is the Word of God. Jesus will fight, is fighting, our battles for us. We are meant to withstand the trials sent to us in faith that God, through Jesus, is fighting on our behalf. Our work, then, is not to be fighting all the time. Our work is to become people marked by God's truth, God's righteousness, God's peace, and God's faith. This will be enough for us to withstand any scheme of Satan. While we withstand, God is working to win the battle for us that will reward our firm withstanding. The hymn is by Martin Luther, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. The prince of darkness grim, we tremble not for him, for lo, his doom is sure, one little word shall fell him. And from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 68, Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. That is your daily devotion for Sunday, June the 5th, Pentecost. May you have a blessed and wonderful day. Praise the Lord.